Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 14th of September. Forces corner terrorists day after encounter deaths in India's Jammu and Kashmir. China becomes first to name New Afghan ambassador under Taliban. And people in Nepal mark traditional Father's Day. And now for all the details. Anti-terror operations entered the second day in Anantnag district of India's Jammu and Kashmir, where on Monday, three security personnel lost their lives in an encounter. The forces had cornered the terrorists in a forest area till the last reports came in. The counter-terror operations entered the second day in Anantnag district of India's Jammu and Kashmir, where at least two terrorists of Pakistan-based Lashkar-e-Taiba were reportedly hiding. On Wednesday, three officers, including the commanding officer of 19 Rashtriya rifles, were reportedly killed in action during the encounter. The terrorists have been encircled by the security forces while a continuous vigil over the area is being done by small quadcopters and drones, an army statement said. Meanwhile, protests erupted against Pakistan in Jammu city over the encounter deaths. The protesters demanded strict action against Pakistan, which India claims aids terrorists. A similar call was made by former Army Chief and Deputy Civil Aviation Minister General V.K. Singh, who called for isolation of Pakistan by the international community to make Islamabad act against terrorism. क्योंकि जब तक हम अलग थलग नहीं करेंगे पाकिस्तान को नहीं तो उनके लिए बिजनेस एज नॉर्मल हां जी ठीक है बॉलीवुड वाले आ जाएंगे हमारे यहां क्रिकेट मैच खेलने वाले आ जाएंगे हमारे यहां सब ठीक है चंगा है जी कोई दिक्कत नहीं है वही मैं कह रहा हूं कि अगर उसके ऊपर दबाव डालना है तो उसको अलग थलग करना पड़ेगा उनको पता चलना चाहिए कि आप नॉर्मल चीजों के अंदर हमारे साथ रिश्ता तब तक नहीं कर सकते जब तक आप खुद नॉर्मल नहीं हो India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday accused the opposition INDIA bloc of having an agenda to end the country's Sanatan culture. He made the remarks while inaugurating mega developmental projects in Paul Bount, Madhya Pradesh. The statement came as Tamil Nadu CM MK Stalin's son earlier this month compared Sanatan Dharma with dengue, malaria, fever, and corona. PM Modi slammed the opposition saying that the bloc has not even decided their leader yet and has come up with a hidden agenda to end India's culture. He further called his BJP government the public's devoted partner through thick and thin as he listed achievements of COVID vaccination and free ration to the poor during the pandemic. <laughs> इंडी अलायंस का निर्णय है भारतीयों की आस्था पर हमला करो इंडी अलायंस गमंडिया गठबंधन की नियत है भारत को जिस विचारों ने जिस संस्कारों ने जिस परंपराओं ने हजारों वर्ष से जोड़ा है Moving on, amidst controversy over polling dates in Pakistan, the country's president, Arif Alvi, on Wednesday, in a letter to the chief election commissioner, unilaterally proposed November 6 for the general election. He added that according to the Pakistan's constitution, the general elections to the National Assembly should be held by the 89th day of the date of its dissolution. The National Assembly was prematurely dissolved last month. The poll body had already announced that elections could be held before February next year, though no time frame has been announced yet. Pakistan enters an election year as former Prime Minister Imran Khan is serving jail for multiple cases and has been barred from politics for five years. 
and while India is being hailed for successfully hosting the G20 summit, people in Pakistan have also heaped praise for their neighbour. The two-day mega huddle this past weekend saw the G20 member states adopt the New Delhi Declaration, while other key takeaways were announcement of India-Middle East-Europe trade corridor and the formal induction of the African Union as a full member of the bloc. Locals in Pakistan's Karachi and Lahore said it shows how important India is for the world and that it is a shame that such a summit did not take place in their country due to its failed foreign policy and poor law and order situation. Our foreign policy and law and order situation in Pakistan is very far behind. अभी लास्ट 10 सालों में 10 भी नहीं कहूंगा एक 5 6 सालों में हम पाकिस्तान जो है इकोनॉमी में और सिक्योरिटी के हवाले से बहुत पीछे चले गए हैं शायद हमें दुनिया ने जो है साइडलाइन पे लगा लिया है क्योंकि आज हम अपनी इकॉनमी को डिफॉल्ट होने से बचाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और इंडिया जो है वो वर्ल्ड के जो 20 बेहतरीन बड़ी कुवतें हैं उनके साथ कुछ कुछ गपियों में मशरूफ है तो मैं समझता हूं इंडिया ने बहुत ही आला स्टेप लिया ये वाला कि उनको ये होस्ट मिला बहुत ही अहम मौका था इंडियंस के लिए सर फखर से बुलंद हुए होंगे उनके इंडिया की जो तस्वीरें आई हैं पीएम मोदी की مختلف सरबरा आने में मुल्कत के साथ वो इंडिया का जो पॉजिटिव चेहरा है वो दुनिया में दिखाने में बहुत बावर हुए हैं चाइना हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू नेम अ न्यू एंबेसडर टू अफगानिस्तान after its envoy Zhao Sheng presented credentials at a ceremony in Kabul on Wednesday. Since the Taliban takeover in 2021, no country has officially recognized its regime so far due to some of the worst gender-based discriminatory policies enforced by the group. However, Beijing did not indicate whether the appointment signaled any wider steps towards formal recognition. The acting minister of foreign affairs, Amir Khan Muttaki, said the two countries had special ties and Zhao's nomination is a significant step with a significant message. Moving on, Chairman of Sri Lanka's Parliamentary Committee on Public Finance, Harsha De Silva, on Thursday urged the IMF to prioritize accountability and transparency as the global money lender goes into its first review of its program. The main opposition lawmaker raised this on microblogging site X while pointing to economic crimes and the need to confront past mistakes. Crisis hit Sri Lanka must convince IMF officials that it has met key goals under a $2.9 billion bailout to push foreign debt restructuring efforts crucial for economic recovery. The officials will assess the island nation's performance under a four-year program secured last March. The bailout has helped Sri Lanka to build up reserves, stem a fall in its currency and tame runaway inflation. Thousands of people gathered on the banks of Bagmati River in Nepal on Thursday to offer prayers on Kushion Sea, commonly known as a traditional Father's Day. Take a look. Thousands of people thronged the banks of Bagmati River flowing past the Gokameshwar Temple in Nepal to take a holy dip and offer prayers on Kushe Onsi, commonly known as Nepal's traditional Father's Day. A fair is organized each year on the occasion, during which children feed their fathers with delicious food items including sweets and show reverence, while those who have lost their father perform rituals for the salvation of his soul. <laughs> मैं आ रहा चाहिए एक बार तो सात दिन करने पड़नी हमरे बुढ़ा पागे आ रहे हैं परंपरा में चल जाएगा रति सही बात है आई मीन यू नो पीपल बिलीव दैट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग आर्म्स एट गोकामेश्वर गिव्स सल्वेशन टू द सोल ऑफ पेरेंट्स इट इज़ आल्सो बिलीव्ड दोस हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर फादर वुड बी एबल टू ले अब थोड़ा को भूमिका है ना माता पिता उन्होंने ना है ना वाला ये पिनो जिन्हों तरबंद जिन्हों आप। That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India, breaking news and views from India.